Hi, I am Dr. Anant Raman, uh, Consultant Endocrinologist at Magna Clinic for Obesity, Diabetes and Endocrinology at BTM Layout, Bangalore. There is a lot of controversy regarding whether uh, uh, plastics actually uh, can trigger uh, early puberty. So, to tell the truth, uh, medical science, especially endocrine science, do, does not know a lot about uh, this area. But uh, there are a lot of uh, studies which have shown that uh, plastics may uh, leach uh, uh, PCBs, polychlorinated bisphenyls, and also many other uh, endocrine disrupting chemicals which have uh, an effect on the estrogen receptor. So what will happen is that uh, when these chemicals act on the estrogen receptor, there can be uh, some estrogenic features, especially if these chemicals are actually uh, producing a positive effect on the estrogen, they actually trigger the estrogen receptor. But what's more important is that when uh, exposure to these chemicals are stopped completely, there can be a, a release phenomenon because of which uh, the, there is activation of the hypothalamo pituitary axis, the, the pituitary and the uh, hypothalamus and uh, there can be uh, production of sex hormone estrogen from the ovaries. So uh, this is considered to be one of the triggers for precocious puberty. Uh, there are well documented studies of uh, discontinuation of DDT use uh, especially in uh, uh, in African children. So typically these African girls are exposed to several uh, uh, endocrine disruptive uh, chemicals in their early childhood. But then once they are, uh, once they migrate to uh, foreign countries where there is no exposure to such chemicals, such withdrawal also can trigger uh, precocious puberty. So we really don't know whether the exposure is triggering the precocious puberty or uh, uh, whether the withdrawal from the exposure is actually triggering precocious puberty. So we should not rush into a conclusion and uh, say that you know all plastics are bad because you know obviously they are quite uh, uh, useful but uh, if we can avoid and uh, use good, good quality plastics which do not leach uh, uh, bisphenol A and uh, uh, several other uh, endocrine disrupting chemicals so it will be very uh, good for the future generation but uh, a lot of research still needs to be done in this area.